सो नाउ वी विल सी ऑर्डर्ड लिस्ट इन एच टी एम एल सो गाइज एच टी एम एल ऑर्डर्ड लिस्ट इज यूज टू ग्रुप अ सेट ऑफ रिलेटेड आइटम्स इन लिस्ट एंड दे विल बी हैविंग अ पर्टिकुलर ऑर्डर इन विच वी डिफाइन दैम ना गाइज एन ऑर्डर्ड लिस्ट स्टार्ट विथ दी ओ एल टैग ओवर हेयर सो वी हैव दी लेस देन सिम्बॉल फॉलोड बाय ओ एल विच इज ऑर्डर्ड लिस्ट एंड देन फॉलोड बाय दी ग्रेटर देन सिम्बॉल एंड देन इन साइड द लिस्ट ईच लिस्ट आइटम स्टार्ट विद दी एल आई टैग इन दिस केस सो गाइज द लिस्ट आइटम्स विल बी मार्क विद नंबर्स बाय डिफॉल्ट सो लेट अस चेक दिस विद दी हेल्प ऑफ एक्साम्पल्स इन वी एस कोड ओवर हेयर सो गाइज प्रीवियसली वी हैड रिटर्न दी अनऑर्डर्ड लिस्ट आइटम्स इन दिस केस एंड दिस इज हाउ दी अनऑर्डर्ड लिस्ट आइटम्स लुक्स ऑन दी वेब ब्राउजर नाउ गाइज वॉट वी विल बी डूइंग इज वी विल डिफाइन दी ऑर्डर्ड लिस्ट एज वेल बिलो दिस अनऑर्डर्ड लिस्ट सो सिंपली वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ पैराग्राफ एंड देन वी विल से बिलो content is in ordered list so we have a very simple statement that is below content is in ordered list now guys we can simply use the ol tag over here so when we type ol as you can see this is the starting ol tag and the ending ol tag so in between these ol tags we will be defining our list items so we can simply have the li starting and the ending tag over here and then guys let's say we want to have the list of programming languages over here in a particular order so let's say we define the first list item as python and then we copy and paste this line of code to the remaining lines and then let's say we have another programming language that is java and then let's say we have c++ over here and then let's say we have dart in this case guys we have taken these programming languages just for the example to show how the list items will be displayed in the ordered list it doesn't mean that python is ranked number 1 over here and java is ranked number 2 over here this is just for the example purpose and all of the programming languages have their own advantages and disadvantages so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see we have the paragraph that is below content is in ordered list and then we have all the programming languages that we have listed python java c++ and dart so guys as i have told you this is not the rankings that we are giving to the programming languages you can learn based on your interest and each and every programming language have their own advantages and disadvantages and if you want to learn more about python and java programming languages i have created lot of videos related to the tutorials of these programming languages along with it we have also covered multiple python and java programs with the help of examples so guys you can watch all those videos which i have added in the playlist the links i have given below in the description section so guys this is a way in order to display the ordered list in this case wherein by default we get the numbers that is 1 2 3 4 and so on based on the number of list items in this case now guys we can also have the type attribute inside the ol tag in order to mention how the list items should be displayed so by default as you can see over here the numbers are being displayed in this case but we can also have letters over here so let's say if you want to display all these programming languages with the help of the upper case characters so what we have to do is inside the ol tag we have something called as type attribute so as you can see it indicates the numbering type so it can be a lower case letter or the upper case letter or it can also have the roman numerals as well so over here right now we will be using the upper case letter in this case so let's say we provide capital a over here so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see now the programming languages are being numbered with the upper case characters that is a b c d and so on so guys similarly we can have the lower case characters as well over here we need to provide the type that is lower case a in this case so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see we have a b c d and so on the lower case letters are being displayed and these are used as the numbers for the ordered list we can also have the roman numbers as well so let's say we provide capital i over here so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page so as you can see these are the roman numbers 1 2 3 4 and so on based on the 
number of the list items all the roman numbers will be displayed over here in the ordered list now guys apart from this we also have the start attribute of the ol tag so guys let us move to the default numbering system over here so we will change this type value to one in this case let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so we are getting one two three four and so on but guys let's say if you want to start with some other number let's say we want to start with the fifth number over here so what we can do is for the ol tag we have the start attribute so over here we can provide the start attribute as you can see this integer attribute specifies the start value for the numbering of the individual list items so we can say that whatever value we provide to the start attribute from that value the list items will start so let's say we provide the number 5 in this case let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see the numbering is starting from the number that is 5 and then we have 6 7 8 and so on so guys in this way we can easily use the start attribute as well in order to start the ordered list from a particular number now guys we can also have the nested ordered list as well so inside one of the list items we can have another ordered list so let's say inside the java list in this case we want another ordered list over here so what we can do is after the ending tag of this java list item we come over here and then we provide the ordered list tag that is ol and then we again define the list items and then let's say we want to define the java versions 19 and 20 so over here we will say java version 19 and then we will have another list item and then we will say java version 20 in this case as the second list item inside the nested ordered list over here within java list item so guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see inside this java list item we have two more elements that we have defined which is again an ordered list over here that is being numbered as 1 and 2 and it is saying java version 19 and java version 20 in this case so guys in this way we can also have the nested ordered list over here and based on our requirements we can also have images and other links over here instead of the simple text that we have defined in this ordered list and if you want to have the unordered list over here we can do that as well so instead of using the ol tag in this case we can use the ul tag over here which defines the unordered list so we have changed the starting and the ending tag to the unordered list in this case let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see now a small circle is being displayed instead of the numbers over here which is the unordered list that we have defined inside the nested order list so guys these are certain ways in order to display the ordered list and the nested ordered list as well Comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video. Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is description list in HTML. So stay tuned.